Welcome to the Metafest Metallica Mom Kitchen where we talk all things Metafest. My name is Andrea. I am a Take Shape for Life health coach. And today I'm going to be making Maryland crab cakes. Yay! I was super psyched when I tried out this recipe for the first time and I haven't done it since because I'm running low on my Maryland crab soup. <laughs> I've had this soaking for almost three hours, two and a half hours. You don't need to soak it for this long. I did it because I didn't want to forget to soak it. So at 7.30 this morning, I was like, oh, I'll just put it in the water now. I have a half a cup of water here. The, the original recipe calls for one cup of water. I only did half a cup of water because we're going to be making something a little bit firm. What we're going to be making is going to make two meals. And it is transportable. It's mobile. It's, um, what how do you call it? You, you can pack this for your lunch. Um, I am going to be mixing the Maryland crab soup with the, which one is it? I'm going to use the garlic mashed potatoes. You could use either one. This, this flavor of the soup, the Old Bay flavor in the soup, takes over for the either the garlic or the sour cream and chive mashed potatoes. I've, 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 I'm now going to do it the second way. I did it with the sour cream and chives, I think, the first time. I don't think it makes a difference. I honestly don't. Um, but in the two and a half to three hours that this has been soaking, you can see that the peas have rehydrated nicely. They're tender. They're not soft. They're not mushy. They're going to have a presence in these um, crab cakes. We're going to be doing it in the frying pan. I'm going to be mixing one package of the Hearty Choice mashed potatoes garlic flavor in with this. This is definitely going to need more liquid and we're not done yet. It's not just these two things and a half a cup of water. We're going to be doing a couple more things. This is going to have a little bit of a, of, of a play in your daily intake of um, lean, okay? I'm not going to get specific about it because you need to speak to your coach about what your requirements are. Like those little disclaimers that I'm putting in here now? Great. Okay, so with those two Metafest packets and only half a cup of water, obviously this is not going to work out well. But we are going to be putting a quarter of a cup of egg beaters. Honestly, I like to use a real egg. But a real egg counts as more from your lean. So I use the egg beaters. Metafest food is very heavily processed. So when I'm adding foods to the Metafest food or you know to my daily you know intake, I kind of like to keep them as whole as possible. I try to keep the processed foods to a minimum. Egg beaters are questionable because they say that all it is is eggs. But if I look at the ingredients on here, it's got more than that. Egg whites, less than 1% of the following, natural flavor, coloring, beta carotene, spices, salt, onion powder, xanthan gum, guar gum, maltodextrin. What is the payoff for using this as opposed to one whole egg right out of a chicken's ass? Hi, I just talk to your coach about it, okay? That's my opinion about it, but for the sake of my channel, because everybody gets all up in arms when I do something that's sort of like off plan a little bit, they get a little crazy, so we're just gonna, but look at how, back on the subject, look at how nice this looks, okay? It is almost cakeable, almost like we can, you know, make cakes out of this. This needs one more thing. We do need a quarter of a cup of finely shredded low fat cheese. Whenever I'm making um, Metafast meals like this, like with my chicken cheesy biscuits, like with my Mexican biscuits, I like to add a little bit of cheese to it. One for flavor, even though this doesn't really need it because I find the Maryland crab soup to be very, very flavorful. Um, one for flavor, but the other just for binding, just to keep everything together, especially because once you make two meals, in one cooking session. You want that second meal to be able to kind of hold it together for the three hours or however long you're gonna wait to eat it. You don't have to eat this for your second and your third meal. You can eat it for your second meal now and your fourth meal tomorrow. Hi, put it in the fridge and then nuke it for 10 minutes, or 10 minutes, listen to me, 10 seconds before you eat it the next time. Or like I, what I love is that you can just keep this out on your counter and eat at room temperature. I kind of like food to be uh, either oh, really hot or really cold. But some people like room temperature food. I like room temperature food when I'm starving to death. <laughs> so this is actually the perfect consistency. If I wasn't on the five in one plan, I would totally make balls with this and roll them in breadcrumbs. You can actually do that, but it would be too salty, but you could do that with Parmesan cheese a little bit, panko crumbs. We're not doing that. 
almond powder with, palm, with uh, almond flour with Parmesan cheese is a really good coating that's very, very low uh, carbohydrate. Just a little hint. But I'm not gonna do that today because this isn't like, this isn't my lean and green. This is like not a real, this is like just one of the manifest meals. This is two of the manifest meals. I'm Ooh, gonna- I've had a lot of coffee. Grease up my pan. The, the only reason why I got the organic is because it was on sale. To put something organic into a spray can seems a little weird to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna spray up my pan and I'm gonna heat up my pan and I'll be right back. Okay, our pan is heated up nicely. So we're gonna start to um, spoon this into the pan as round as I can get it. But then we're gonna kind of pat it down, kind of work it while it's in the pan so that it's sort of like cake. You could make muffins like this, I guess. Um, but I kind of like how these are gonna be a little bit flatter, um, like a crab cake, you know? I mean, you want it to be as close to the original thing as possible. can't play with it too much because you really need it to set Okay, so up. this made five. Um, you're going to have to cut one in half if you're going to really split it into two meals. Or if you if you do for two meals, you can just eat all of them now or whenever it is that you do for two meals. Um, I will probably split one in half and eat one now. I'm not really due for a meal, but I want to taste it on camera for you guys. But I'm going to cover this because I want it to kind of set. I have this on a very low heat in between two and three on the um, thing and I have it covered and I'm actually gonna literally leave it alone for like four to five minutes. Okay, that was five minutes. I literally just left it alone. I didn't touch it. I just really want to crisp them up. Crispin Glover, ha huh. I always think of that whenever I say crispin. A shoe. They smell fabulous. They smell really good. They're really crunchy. And literally, you just have to squeeze them down a little bit. These are gonna be lovely. I, I swear, I, I love these. Because you eat them hot, mm, so good, so good. So again, I'm gonna leave them alone for another four minutes. Here they are, Maryland Crab Cakes. These are so nice and they smell really good. You can add a little bit more Old Bay in there before you cook them if you wanted to, but you gotta be careful about the salt, all right? This is real cooking. This is real cooking for Metafast food. Um, some people really like the Metafast program, me included, because it doesn't have a lot of cooking involved. But if you're getting bored, hi, you gotta do something, you know? So again, this made five, this recipe. You could either make these bigger and only make four, or you can make them smaller and, and make six. Um, but I'm gonna eat half of what now they're screaming, screaming hot because literally they were in the frying pan, kind of left alone for almost 10 minutes. But they're, they're mushy in the middle. Everything is cooked, I mean, not bad. I mean, that's like a lot of food, you know? But I am gonna take a taste, I don't know if you can hear it. Screaming hot. I'm about to burn my tongue. Watch this. The scallion that's in the uh, Metafest crab soup um, is brings out a very, very nice flavor. The pea, I just had a pea, and then there's another pea there. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't really see it. There's another pea hidden in there. Um, the peas are very nice. The little bits of corn, corn uh, kernels is very nice. The mashed potato texture, these taste like crab cakes. No, I mean, if you went to, you know, some coastal town and got like, you know, local caught crab stuff, and I'm, obviously it's not gonna be like that. And you're not gonna have a beer with it. And you're not gonna have a big old pile of French fries and blah, blah, blah. But I love the Old Bay flavor. I love that crab flavor. Uh, these are very good. I just had a half. So even though I'm not due for a meal, I just had a fifth of one of my Metafast meals. If you think about it, is it really that much? I'm not gonna feel guilty about that. I'm not gonna eat the rest of it. My next meal will probably be these two. And then that's that, all right. This is my recipe for Maryland crab cakes.
Metafest, Maryland Crab Cakes. If you'd like any more information about this recipe, the Metafest products are at Barton Takes You for Life program. Please hit me up. All of my information is down below. Talk to you later. Bye.